As a resident, I supported a facility at Kil Kilkenny Fields, but opposed the late ground site, which I still do. I was one of a group of 12 or so residents who met to oppose the late grounds proposal. For various reasons, I was asked to represent and put forward their views at a North Somerset Council meeting. Excuse me. After the second successful planning application had been made and the application called in, which I did. Speaking for the proposal was a Portishead Skate Park member. A free vote was then taken by democratically elected councillors who voted against granting landlords permission. That decision was completely out of my or the town council's influence. Prior to that meeting, a survey was conducted of residents in roads around the grounds. Twelve were in favour and 132 were against. A local solicitor would have spoken in the council meeting rather than me. However, could not do so as she wished to represent the group legally and apparently could not engage in both. Minutes of Governor's Meetings at Gordano School in 2010 record that an excellent site was offered by the Governors. It's not true. Well, I'm very sorry. I've spoken with people that were at that meeting and various other people as well. So I'm sorry. That is what I've been told. I understand that this offer was lost as it was not acceptable to the skate park promoting group. For reasons which I leave you to investigate and query. Portishead could have had a superb skate park from shortly after 2010. Can I ask that that notice is taken down please because I think it's uh, not the sort of thing we should have. But there we go. Um. Mrs. Hennessy, would you... Would sorry, you I wanted people to know that he wasn't telling the truth, well, sorry. Mrs. Hennessy... Sorry, already, sorry, carry on. We've already agreed that we don't talk across people. You're right. Let each person say what yeah, they need. Uh, everyone else is uh, you're allowed interruptions by everyone else except for the council. Well, no, I've allowed interruptions. We've no, had Mr. Mock. Well, not going to take any more. Well, so not, well know, if somebody... Excuse me, it's paid the same rules as everyone else. Yes. True, yes. hooray. Hear, hear. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so, uh, for reasons which I ask, which I leave you to investigate and query, Portishead could have had a superb skate park from shortly after 2010 at a location where many other youth activities take place. That site has now been used for another purpose. Since the start of this issue, I've been subject to allegations of all kinds. In the case of the golf course and possibly other issues of corruption, accepting brown envelopes and dealing with developers behind closed doors. A resident approached me after a meeting asking if the rumours were true about brown envelopes and meetings with developers. This was witnessed by a fellow councillor who was sitting beside me at the time. If anyone present or anyone reading this in minutes 
has any evidence of corruption against me, please refer to the police or the standards authority. I have not the faintest idea of any such behaviour of which I could be accused. Residents may be of the opinion that, as I do not appear in the media in connection with assist ass assisting residents, I do nothing. This is because I ask all who I help not to write or post any thanks on my behalf. Experience with one prominent local business owner in assisting me, when I was a resident, <coughs> with flood relief for Borough Bridge in Somerset led to a negative comment by an individual, anonymous, apparently, in the Evening Post, which he felt reflected badly on his business and further assistance for those victims was refused. In my opinion, quite rightly. <laughs>